Hi, I'm Charlie, and this cute little tricolor Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is JR. And JR is going to help us uh, to learn how to properly crate train a puppy. Crate training is really the easiest way to housebreak a puppy. It's uh, as long as you're consistent, as long as you're there, it's a very easy way to get a puppy to be housebroken. Um, the first step in crate training is to select a proper crate. Yes, I love you too. So um, the size that we usually use for our Cavaliers is this size. This is 13 inches wide and 22 inches long. Um, we prefer the wire crates. They usually come with a divider. You'll notice there's a divider. I've placed this divider about halfway through. Now, uh, of course, that does not allow you to use the side door while that divider is in there. But as the puppy grows and you move that divider back towards the back and then eventually take it out entirely, um, then you'll be able to use the side door. So you can configure the crate, put it in a lot of different areas, and use it in a lot of different ways. Um, there's a crate pad in the bottom, so there's a nice soft area. But you'll notice this is just big enough for her to lie down and curl up and go to sleep. If you give the puppy too much space, what, what she will do is she'll curl up in the back of the crate and if she has to go and hasn't yet learned how to ask to go, she'll come up to the front of the crate, she'll pee there and then she'll go back into the rear to go to sleep again. And certainly we don't want that. We don't want her to learn that it's okay to pee in the crate. So we give her just enough room to curl up and be comfortable. And it's natural for a dog to not want to do anything, any peeing or pooping, in the area where they sleep. So if she has to go, she will wake up and she will cry or in some other way ask me to let her out. So we're going to give her a little bit of time. Um, when the puppy is very young, about two hours is a nice amount of time to let her nap. Uh, as she gets a little bit older, then that two hours will increase to three hours, maybe four hours, and, and you can kind of play it from there. But we're going to let her nap now. Okay, she's been sleeping for a little bit now. She woke up. Look at that nice yawn. Yes. So we're going to take her out of the crate. Come on, JR. When the puppy's very young, you have to carry the puppy out. As they get older, you can let them walk to the door and out. But in the beginning, you carry them out. JR, want to go out? Let's go out. Gonna go out. Let's go out, JR. We're gonna go out all the way. Now I'm carrying her to the spot where I want her to go as a habit. If, uh, you know, and when she's older, I don't want her going on the deck or on the patio. I want her on the lawn. So I'm going to carry her all the way out. And notice also how I give everything a name. I said go out, so she knows go out. And I said all the way, meaning that it's going to be all the way to the yard, in the lawn, okay, all the way. Okay, let's go, JR. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. That's a good hurry up. Yes, good hurry up. It's natural for puppies when they first wake up from a nap to want to go. So, um, what I did was I just let nature take its course. Notice again, I gave it a name. I said, hurry up. And if I continue to do that every time she goes, then she's going to associate the word with the act. And you can actually train dogs to pee on command. I'm going to give her a little time to see if she needs to do number two or anything else. Come on, JR. Want to play? Want to go walkies? Yeah, go walkies. Come on. Good girl. This is also a good opportunity to play. 
This is um, after she's done her business. If you want to take a little play time, get her favorite toy, let her chase it a little bit, or uh, run around with her because puppies love to play. They love to follow you um, and let her get a little exercise this way. Come on, JR, let's go. Come on. Come on, you want to go? Come on, come on, you're a good girl. Yay, good girl. Yes, yes. You can also use this time as a little bit of a, an opportunity to do some training, maybe a little bit of getting her to walk on a lead, or teaching her some basic commands like come, or sit, or stay, um, or just enjoying her company, right? What a good little girl. What a good girl. Okay, well we've had our time outside. Now, when you're first crate training a puppy, the first three days are the most critical. In those first three days, the puppy is learning what to do in that environment. So you don't want to give the puppy any opportunity to make a mistake. That means that for those first few precious, important days, you do not give the puppy any freedom whatsoever. So notice that She's in the house and now she is on my lap. I'm not letting her walk around at all. And if I want her to stay awake for a while, I'm going to keep her on my lap. And I'll enjoy her and I'll keep her active and I'll let her play and bite my finger because puppies love to bite your finger. It's the way they exercise their teeth. But I don't give her any freedom. Now, as the time passes by over the next few weeks, after those first three days are over, I'll start giving her a little freedom. So if, um, as this puppy has, she's passed her first few days, I would let her run around in here supervised, and I would watch her, and I would play with her, and I wouldn't leave her at all, because if you give them an opportunity to make a mistake, they probably will. But the whole thing about crate training is to not give the puppy any opportunity to make a mistake and go in the house and reward the proper behavior, which she did. She went outside and she peed out there the way that she's supposed to. Right? After she's had her playtime, I would put her back in the crate. Now, when she goes in the crate, it's very handy to have a little treat. I don't have one with me now, but you have a little treat, and you reward her, and you say, good girl, crate, and give her the treat, and then they get positive associations with going back into the crate, all right? Um, I will now uh, give her some time to go back to sleep, take another little nap, and then we repeat the process all over again in a few hours.